So today we're going to be going over rigid metal conduit fittings and raceways. So all these parts that you see listed here on the table will be used to put together a full rigid metal conduit system. Rigid metal conduit is a raceway that is sold in sizes from half inch to six inches. Rigid metal conduit um, has many different fittings and connectors. So if we take a look here, we have the 90 degree elbow or uh, which is used for changing direction with rigid metal conduit prefab. So these come in sizes from half inch up to six inches. These are uh, necessities out in the field uh, when you're not doing field bending, they come in handy. So once again, this is a 90 degree elbow for rigid metal conduit. The next fitting that I'd like to discuss is the rigid metal conduit coupling. When building a raceway, you have to join two lengths of conduit together. There's two situations you're going to come across. When building a rigid metal conduit raceway in consecutive order, you would use your traditional steel rigid metal conduit coupling. So you would fasten this onto one raceway and then join your second raceway into it. This is when you're putting together your raceways in consecutive order. When you're taking your raceways and building towards one fixed point, you're going to need a solution. You're going to need a different fitting to handle that. And that's where the three-piece rigid coupling comes in handy. So this rigid three-piece coupling is made of malleable iron, and this allows you to work from two fixed points. Um, and once again, you'll notice in the field that you don't have the ability of tightening it. That's where the three-piece comes in, because you can tighten the coupling from two points. The next fitting I'd like to talk about is the fitting that's used to secure the raceway to panels, boxes, and that's your lock nut. So here we have three different lock nuts that I'd like to talk about. The first lock nut here being made of zinc. This lock nut is used to secure onto the threads of the raceway and to be tightened down to the enclosure that you're entering. So you have one in die cast, you have one in steel, and you have another one that is unique because it's made and it has a gasket on it. So used for keeping moisture out of the enclosures because uh, we know with electricity, moisture is dangerous. So this lock nut that has a gasket on it is something that is a great feature to be used in any type of damp or wet locations. Once your raceway is secured with the lock nuts that we spoke about, the next thing to install would be a bushing. So there's different types of bushings out there. We have a standard PVC bushing, which is uh, an insulated bushing that would be put on there when there's no bonding needed. You then have the MIGBs, which is the trade term for metal insulated grounding bushings. So the MIGB is a bushing that's used. It's made of um, malleable iron which is used to secure on the end of the raceway, but it provides a lug for your bonding jumper or your grounding jumper. Once you have your MIGBs installed, you now have to secure your raceways using different straps and supports. So you have a two hole strap, which goes from sizes half inch up to six inch, as well as the one hole strap from half inch up to six inch. Next we have the pulling L. The pulling L is a conduit, a condolet body, which is used when building the raceway to help you change direction. So changing direction is key uh, when turning corners, but you also need the ability of accessing the wires for pulling the wires through. So here you have uh, a cover that can be removed, which allows you to pull the wires through one end and put them through another. Next one I'm going to talk about is a rain tight coupling. So coupling as we've covered before is used to join two raceways together. What's unique about this one, it's made of malleable iron, but it's also unique because you can use this in the field without having threads on your conduit. So if you're installing rigid metal conduit and you had to make a field cut and you do not have threads, this is the type of coupling that you would be able to use to secure your raceways together. So once again, this is a rain tight coupling. The connector that goes with it is a rain tight connector. The rain tight connector is used 
and you have to make sure no water is penetrating your enclosure. So it has an insulated throat, but it has that rubber gasket which allows us to ensure water will not get into our enclosure. So as you see that here, that's how you know this is made for a rain tight situation. So this is a connector for rain tight. In situations when raceways need to be reduced in size, we have fittings that can help with that. These are reducing bushings, which would allow you to decrease the raceway opening from one inch, maybe down to three quarter or half inch. That's where the reducing bushings are good to be used. Next we have the watertight hub. So this here is a rain tight hub, which is used for outside installations in the rain, in, in wet conditions. So once again, the unique part about it is it has an insulated throat, it has a watertight gasket, and it's used for rigid metal conduit. Now I'd like to just take a few of the fittings that are here on the table and put them together. Give you a little example of what it looks like grabbing these fittings and putting them together. So for example, we talked about rigid metal conduit chase nipple. That's this raceway here, which is 24 inches or less. So an example of putting that coupling together would be by taking this steel rigid coupling and threading it on. I'm going to show it to you being hand tightened, but in the field you'll need to secure it with your tools. How would I take this raceway now and secure it to an enclosure? I want to show you by using the fittings on this table. So we talked about the rigid nipples. So I'm going to show you right now in an installation. I have here a load center. This is a panel, and I'm going to now take the raceway. Now, you notice there's no threads to go in to secure it. So how would I secure this raceway to the enclosure? That's where the rigid nipple comes in. This goes installed from the inside through the knockout, and then at this point, I'm able to secure my raceway by threading it on to the rigid nipple. And as you can see, this is installed now in place. So once again, in the field, you would not hand tighten it. You would make sure you tighten it up to the specs that are required. But that's how it gets put together. For more information about Topaz products, please visit our website.